so welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm going to be showing you my face mask collection i have them like right here in front of me i'm going to be giving my recommendations my holy grails and just kind of giving you my opinion about these different parks i've tried and the ones that i recommend to people because i know that they're really awesome so uh, let's just get started Hi lovelies, welcome to DL's Health and Beauty. Don't forget to click that little subscribe button below and press this bell so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. This mask is organic. It contains Dead Sea Minerals and it smells like mud and clay. I bought this mask at Whole Foods and it smells so wonderful. Uh, Alba does not do animal testing, so yes, and it is 100% vegetarian ingredients. It is a moisturizing mask and is hypoallergenic. Okay, so this mask is the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. I really, really like this mask. It is a holy grail. I've been using it for so many years. I recommended this to my sister because she is a teenager and she was having breakouts. So I gave her my bottle and I got myself a smaller one. The packaging used to be like different. I think I'll insert a picture for you guys. <laughs> But this is the new packaging, which is just like a like blue and green kind of thing. But it's the same ingredients for the most part, I believe. I didn't really notice a difference in the ingredient list. So I love this and I highly, highly recommend it. It is so good for pimples. Like, if you need your pimples reduced fairly quickly, this is the mask to go for. And it's super cheap. I think it's like $5. It's still $5 because when I got this one, which is a smaller size, I think it was like... $3.99 or something or for something and then the bigger size is like $5.99 or six something so it's really cheap it's really affordable and it is honestly one of the few masks that I've actually tried that really really re reduces pimples very quickly this is the old packaging and the original one that I had and then uh, this bad boy right here is a new packaging Queen Helene is cruelty free and this particular mask contains parfum. So this next mask is a Freeman mask. This is the charcoal and black sugar polishing mask. Mask is not the right word actually. This is a scrub. Like I don't know if you can see, but it's it's really like rough. It's feels like sugar. It's got a really rough texture. It's abrasive. It's more like a scrub. Can you hear it? That's how rough it is. <laughs> so it's more of a scrub than a mask. I don't know why they named it mask, but yes. I do like the Freeman mask, so I do have quite a few of them. This one, I bought it because the charcoal is supposed to be really good about sucking out impurities and things like germs and bacteria out of your face. So, yeah. So, this is definitely... I have a lot to say about this. I wouldn't recommend this to people with sensitive skin because I found it to be rough and abrasive. If you are not okay about things like peels or scrubs or anything kind of rough, you're not going to like this. You're just not. It's so it says it's for all skin types, but it's not. <laughs> um, I did use this like a mask. I applied it. I mixed it with another mask, and I put it on my face. Um, you know, and I left it on like a mask, but it really isn't. It's a scrub, and it is a little harsh and abrasive. <laughs> However, it did make my skin feel smoother afterwards, so it is good for smoothing. However, I don't use this that often because it's abrasive, and I don't really like harsh treatments anymore. Um, but I wouldn't say I don't recommend it. If you want smoothing, this is definitely the way to go. But if you're sensitive or if you're just not okay with using something that's kind of harsh and abrasive, then I would avoid this one. But I do use it from time to time because it does smooth out my skin pretty nicely. This mask does contain quite a few natural ingredients in it, but it also does contain parfum or fragrance. 
And this mask did leave my skin a bit red, so I would moisturize afterward, and they do not test on animals. Once again, the Freeman brand does not test on animals, and this particular mask does contain fragrance and parabens. So the next mask is the Kiss My Face. This is their deep cleansing mask, and you can actually get this at Whole Foods. It is amazing, you guys. Now, it is not as cheap as the saint the queen helene mask um it is i, I think it's like 12.99 is what i paid for this tiny bottle but it does what it says like up here it says it's potent and pure it is potent like that is not a lie um this is great for pimple reduction as well now it is very strong so i only leave it on for an hour Generally with face masks, I'm so comfortable with them and I've been using them for so long that I will leave them on for hours. But this one, I would not dare <laughs> because it is strong. And you should moisturize your skin after using it because it will leave your skin a little bit dry. It will literally suck all the bad stuff out of your skin, but it will also suck out some of that moisture. So, yes, but it is amazing. If you have a lot of breakouts, I definitely highly highly recommend this it is just so good and there just aren't enough masks out there i feel like on the market that really help with pimples but this is another one that is amazing This mask did reduce my pimples a bit and it is also a tightening mask and it does contain many natural ingredients but it does have parabens and again Freeman does not test on animals. This particular mask is a good tightening mask and this one does contain fragrance and it does contain parabens. Now some of the Freeman some of the Freeman masks don't contain parabens or fragrance but some do so you really have to look at the ingredient list. Okay, you guys, so this one, I have a lot to say about this one. This is the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask. Now, you can get this at Whole Foods as well, just like the Kiss My Face. It's actually very cheap at Whole Foods. I think it's like $6.99 or something like that for this huge tub. Now, this is 100% calcium bentonite, which most face masks contain bentonite anyway. But it's not this level of bentonite, like it's a diluted version, I believe, because it's not nearly as strong as the pure bentonite, like, like this stuff. This stuff is amazing. There's so many reviews about it online, and I really feel like I don't really have anything else to say other than what I read online because I had the same experience. But basically, this is something that I recommend mixing with another face mask, or you could use it by itself, but it's really strong. I... I don't know I think I was having a lot of breakouts especially while I was dating and so I got a lot of strong products like this for that reason but since I've been single for such a long time I don't really have breakouts like I used to but this is still amazing to add if you just want to really really deep clean your skin and it is super super tightening as in like uh, it was so tightening that I couldn't move my mouth like I was just like like a fish <laughs> like it's that tightening so if tightening is what you're going for this bad boy is definitely the way to go it's super cheap very affordable and it's very easily accessible at whole foods and other places now the thing about this that i want to say <sighs> okay i had to stand in front of a fan 
<laughs> when I applied this because it makes such intense itching. That is something you will find if you go online and Google the reviews for this, you will hear a lot of people say it itches like crazy. And I thought I was crazy because I was like, I must be losing my mind. So I went online and I Googled if people had itching from this and there was, it was a normal thing. People accepted that it makes extreme itching. Now it doesn't last the entire time, but the itching doesn't completely go away. Like basically I stood in front of the fan to stop itching it because it was like the fan helped lessen the itching, but it was still really unnerving. <laughs> But it does work like my skin felt really really clean. It felt tight. It was amazing um, But like I said if you can't take a lot of itching Like if you just can't take like that kind of reaction. I don't recommend this um, Even diluted. I think this is still pretty strong. So the bentonite and other masks It's not like this. It's much much more diluted um, but it's really good you guys. It is really really good, but the itching did lessen over time But occasionally I would still itch it like maybe once every four minutes or so But it does wear down. It doesn't continue to itch for that long I felt like the itching was really intense for maybe like two or three minutes And then it just kind of died down. So it is really good and it is a huge tub like this thing is heavy <laughs> so this will last me forever um, I do recommend it, but if you're sensitive or if you're not going to be okay with the itching, then I just don't recommend it. <laughs> but it is really good. So I do recommend it for the fact that it is amazing for tightening. And if you're aging and tightening is a problem, I definitely recommend picking some of this up. And I would do like a test with it before you put it all over your face to see if you can take it. But it is really, really good. <laughs> Oh, there is one thing I did forget to mention about the Aztec clay. This one also, it did leave my skin a little bit red after using it. And I do feel like that's kind of important to tell you guys. So I did want to mention it. Um, but the redness did not last. I just, I applied oil to my skin to kind of re-moisturize it. You know, like olive oil or if you have the Rose Beauty Cream at home, you can apply it. Um, whatever you want to apply to re-moisturize, that's on you. You can do whatever you want. Use whatever moisturizer you like. But I did re-moisturize afterwards um, and there was some redness, but like I said, it did fade fairly quickly. This particular mask I feel is very gentle. It is a very moisturizing mask. It does contain a lot of natural ingredients. Now again, Freeman does not test on animals. This particular mask contains pineapple extract, pineapple extract, AHAs, and enzymes. This mask dries to a slightly sticky feel, but it feels like nothing is on your face. Now it does contain fragrance and it does contain parabens. This particular mask, like the Alba, is so, uh, so, the smell is amazing. I love the smell. This is a moisturizing mask, so I recommend it for dry skin. This one doesn't have parabens, but it does contain fragrance. But, uh, I don't know, I love the smell so much. You know, it's, it's hard, but I love it. Okay, so this mask is the Be Natural Organics, the seaweed mask, and I have a few things to say about this mask. It is seaweed, you guys, so it does smell kind of fishy. It kind of stank. It did tighten my skin, but it also made my skin a bit red, and it also made it a bit dry, so you definitely have to moisturize afterwards. And it was a bit itchy on my skin, so I don't know. It wasn't like with the Aztec mask where I felt like it was really beneficial. I didn't feel like this one was as beneficial as the Aztec mask, but it did smooth my skin out, and it was tightening. Um, but I don't know. I wouldn't really repurchase it again because I just feel like the smell was kind of offensive. I mean, I know it's seaweed, but, <laughs> you know, so I don't know what to say. But, yeah, so I wouldn't really recommend this to you guys. Um, 
I just wouldn't just because I feel like it would be offensive to a lot of people and a lot of you just wouldn't like it. Oh, I forgot. There is one more thing I want to say about this mask. This mask, the smell, the fishy smell did remain the entire time it was on my face. So that's the other reason I don't recommend it is because the smell definitely remains and yeah. That's the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about this mask. <laughs> Lastly, I do want to mention I do like the Freeman's mask, so I do um, recommend checking out the different masks that they have. They have some really cool masks from like sweet tea to masks that they make just for men, so I definitely recommend checking out their masks if you see them in Rite Aid or CVS. Alright everyone, so we're at the end of this video. I did film this video a little differently from my other collections videos, so give it a thumbs up if you liked the way I filmed this one the most. And I hope you all enjoyed this video and got a lot out of it. And thanks for watching. Until next time.